Talk about your database. Um, if you would, and, and you know what it takes to build that kind of database. Well, I'll preface it by giving the best example that I give, where many agents sometimes get caught up in how much they make or what sales price or whatever that is. But I sold in 1997 a $50,000 HUD home to a little gal named Linda, um, who was buying her first home. She's actually a grandmother taking care of her grandchildren. That house, the gross commission was $1,500. She has been in my database to this very day, in fact, closed just a week ago on another home. And her referral tree is eight levels deep with almost 70 people in it that has generated over $250,000 in commissions from one little gal in 1997 bought a $50,000 home. That's the value of your database. And so, so many agents are so focused on what's the next marketing gimmick that they can do that they're not taking care of the people that are there to take care of them. So the things that I do in my database is I mail out a little letter every month to my database, a little story about me and my life. Some people call it letter of the heart. Um, I do two client events a year. I do a big summer carnival out at my house. It's all family friendly. And then we do a, custo a Christmas holiday party that's for adults only. But I do a lot of little things in my database. I take my top 20 to dinner, um, have them bring referrals. I have a take your realtor to lunch day where I have clients for their birthday, I take them to lunch and have them bring all their coworkers. So you get them and 10 of their friends in the room all talking about you as a real estate agent. So as I said early on, real estate's about relationships. So that to me is the most valuable thing that I do. And I think if an agent learns that early on, which luckily I did, um, I don't see how they can fail. What's the first thing you would do as a new agent today? Um, one to learn the business because if you don't know the business you can't really sell so you really need to establish your market knowledge number one and then also know all the contracts everything so when you're in front of the client then you know what to do i would tell them to be prepared to work hard i would tell them to be prepared to tell the truth and not to be afraid to fail You've got to make a lot of contacts to get a contract. It, it's just a numbers game. And I would tell them to really focus initially on their sphere of influence, people that they know, and uh, uh, you know, adopt the phrase, who do you know? Huh? Determine your niche and then focus, focus, focus.